Hi, this is Rachel and welcome to my channel. I'm here today to film my March empties. I was originally going to wait until the end of April to film another empties videos, but I had quite a few empties in March, so I need to film an empties video. Um, and I'm just going to get started. So I have this Tis the Season hand soap from Bath & Body Works, and this is like a cinnamon hand soap. It's one of my favorite holiday scents from Bath & Body Works, and I really enjoy using this one and we repurchase it every year. Then I have a, a rare empty. I have the petroleum jelly from Up and Up. It's compared to Vaseline and we finally finished this whole container. We use this um, on, I use it on my feet and on my lips and any area of my skin that's dry and I feel like it's really moisturizing and really helps my lips to stay uh, moist and not be all cracked and dry. So this one I'm really glad to have gone. It was um, a great product. Then I have the Warming Mineral Mask from The Body Shop. Um, this product I actually kind of let go bad, which is why I had to cut it open, as you can see. So what happened is the container got clogged because all the stuff at the bottom got really hard but then in the middle the product was still good so I used the product in the middle and didn't use the hard product at the bottom. This feels really good on your face. It like warms your face and kind of feels like you're just you're going to the spa so it's really relaxing. I don't know how much it really does to like clean my face or to um, get rid of acne but I really enjoy this product and I've already repurchased another one. Then I have a citrus mint hand soap from the Simple Pleasures brand. This um, is a dollar at Joanne Fabrics or Gordman's. And it's really cheap soap, but it works well. We use it in our kitchen, and the lemon scent is great for the kitchen. And we did just have to repurchase some more because we finally ran out. And then I have a Cookies for Santa foaming hand soap from Bath & Body Works. This one literally smelt like sugar cookies. It was delicious and I really did enjoy this hand soap. The notes on the side say golden buttercream cookies sprinkled with sugar and cinnamon. And this one was really good. And if they bring it back next year, I'll probably repurchase it. Then I have the Crest 3D White Glamorous White Fresh Mint Mouthwash. Um, so did not enjoy this one. About half of it ended up going down the drain, drain and I donated the rest of this type of mouthwash that we have to the Ronald McDonald house. So other families could enjoy this mouthwash because I did not. So it has hydrogen peroxide in it and I have sensitive teeth so this one really did not work with my teeth and it ended up making my mouth really sensitive. And the rest of my family doesn't enjoy it either, so it just was a total miss for our family, and it's too bad we had multiples. Won't be repurchasing this one ever again. Then I have the Johnson's Baby Lotion and the Honey Apple. This one smelled delicious, and the Johnson's Baby Lotion is one of my favorite like moisturizers, because I do think they're really moisturizing. Sometimes if you put too much on, they can be a little bit greasy. But I really enjoyed this one and I may repurchase it in the future when I need more lotion, but that will be a while. And then the other Johnson's and Johnson's one I finished was the pink one. Um, I've had this one forever, probably since I was about a freshman in college and I have refilled it once with this size of bottle. So I do go through this one quite a bit. I really enjoy the pink scent and I think it does... Um, smell really great and it's one of my favorite lotion scents so I probably will repurchase this um, lotion in the future. Then I finger, finished a Pantene, Pantene with Argan Oil Conditioner. This is my favorite from Pantene. I think this is one of their best smelling conditioners and I love how soft it makes my hair f feel. We've repurchased this one over and over again. And then I finished up another mouthwash in the Crest Pro Health Complete. And 
this was the blue one. So, this one was really good, and I really enjoyed this mouthwash, and I think it did a wonderful job of making my mouth feel clean and fresh. So I definitely would repurchase this one. I'm just going to talk about these two at the same time, because they're not empty. So this is a Better Homes and Gardens wax, and I have the lime dried linen and the white birch leaves, and I'm throwing both of these out. Every wax I've had from Better Homes and Gardens, and I only bought four, um, I've ended up not liking. So I put the line dried linen in the wax warmer and it was so strong. It filled up our entire house and it was like headache inducing strong and I just didn't enjoy it. So I decided I'm not even going to get the, give this last wax a chance. I'm just going to uh, throw it out. It smells really like fresh leaves and it is a good smell and cold. I just don't think I'll be able to stand it in the warmer. So I'm throwing these two out. I'm done buying the Better Homes and Gardens wax because I just don't think it's too strong for me. It gives me a headache. And then some wax I did enjoy. So I have the Ocean Star Votive, which I ended up putting in the wax melt warmer. And I really enjoyed this one. It was like a nice ocean scent and it lasted quite a while. So I probably will repurchase this one. Uh, one I won't repurchase is the Sun and Sand. No matter what I did, I could not smell this votive, and I threw this one in the wax melt warmer. My last one I burned, and I couldn't smell it. So this one I threw in the wax melt warmer, still couldn't smell it. So And it left a really weird stain on my warmer when I tried to clean it out, so I wasn't very pleased with that either. So I won't re be repurchasing the Sun and Sand scent from Yankee. And then my last one is the Over the River Wax Melt, and I have this one in the warmer right now, and it's such a lovely scent. It's a water scent, and I really enjoy it, so I will repurchase this one. All right, and then I have a couple samples from Perfectly Posh. I have the Big Fat Yummy Hand Cream in Two to Tango, and this was like a citrus hand cream, and I really enjoyed this hand cream just because it like absorbs into my hands really fast and it left a good smell on them even after I washed my hands. And then I have Envy This and this was a face mask and I'm definitely going to repurchase the or I'm going to purchase the full size in this one after trying this sample. But I really enjoyed this one. It had like a tea tree oil smell and it really pulled out all the acne in my face even just sitting there for 10 minutes. So I really enjoyed this sample and I'll definitely be buying the full size at some point. I have a Fa La Fa La 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 Llama and this was an apple scented pocket back. In the bottle this one smelled really good but once it dried on my hands this one really stunk. So I ended up mixing it with the Purell, so I'm still kind of using it, but I can't smell it anymore. So I didn't enjoy this one. I won't be repurchasing this pocket back. And then I have a Magic in the Air body lotion. I bought this one to try the Magic in the Air scent because I wasn't sure if I would like it. I'm not always the biggest fan of florals, but sometimes I do enjoy them. And Magic in the Air is one that I truly enjoy. So I'm, I'm really excited that I like this one. I have already purchased the full size and Magic in the Air. I have two lotions of spray and a body wash. So I like this one. I'm glad it's sticking around um, and I'm going to continue to enjoy it next winter. Then I have a Warm Vanilla Sugar body wash. Um, I don't usually use the warm vanilla sugar scent. It's one of Bath and Body Works like oldest scents and it's one of the ones I like first remember using, but I don't use it too often anymore. I did, however, enjoy this body wash, but there's not a whole lot that's special about it, especially when I have so many body washes to use up. So I'm glad to have this one out of my collection and I may repurchase warm vanilla sugar in the future, but I might not also. Then I'm going to show you all the toothpaste I finished this month. Um, I'm still focusing on using up sample sizes of toothpaste. So these are all sample sizes still. So I have the Crest Pro, Pro Health Clinical. And then I have the Crest 3D White Vivid. 
I have two of the crest cavity and I have the pronamel fresh breath and I really enjoyed all these toothpaste they were all really great and they did a great job cleaning my teeth and keeping my breath fresh so I would repurchase all of them and then I have the up and up eye drops um, I always use these with my contacts and they seem to work really well for the chemistry in my eyes and they seem to keep my contacts ready to go for the whole day. I have a Cranberry Twinkle Shower Gel. I have one full size shower gel of Cranberry Twinkle left, um, which I will probably use up next winter. I did enjoy this one. It's a really straight up cranberry scent. I probably like Winterberry Wonder better but I don't mind Cranberry Twinkle. So I'm excited to have this one out of my collection and I look forward to using the other one up. And then my last two I'm gonna talk about together. I finished my winter challenge um, earlier this month and my big goal this winter was to use up all my Be Joyful products besides my shower gel. I'll probably be using the shower gel this summer because it it is more of a summer scent in my opinion, but I wanted to use these in the winter because I have so many summer scents. So Be Joyful is a clementine scent, and so it's like an orange with a musk. It's not like a fresh scent, it's more like a musky scent. I did enjoy Be Joyful, but by the time I finished this spray and this last lotion, I was so sick of it. I was so ready for... Um, it to be done. So I'm really happy to finish these. It's not an overly special scent, so it's not one that I'm going to miss in my collection. So I'll be okay without having Be Joyful in my collection. I'm glad to have moved on to other products. I kind of let myself do some random using up throughout the rest of this month, so I don't know how many empties I'll have come April. But I'm really happy to have finished Be Joyful. So that is the end of my March empties. Sorry I had to do that so fast, but I don't have much time today. So thank you for watching, and I hope you had a great month in empties.